Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack a jack a smacking? It's Waffle Man with a video coming at you with another Thursday Talk episode, and today we're gonna be talking about talking shit! Yes! A lot of people like to talk shit, and you guys think I like to talk shit too, but honestly, I don't really talk any shit. Mainly, if you see me talking shit, it's in my My Career videos, but that's that's single player, you know? That's my career. I know my player is gonna do good. It just depends on the other teammates on the team if they're gonna do good. And I've already beaten a bunch of teams in my team already that are, uh, excuse me, my career, that are just solid teams and great teams in the league where I could just talk shit to them all game long. But when it comes to online, when it comes to playing in the park, I don't really talk that much shit. And I wanna get your guys' opinion. Do you guys talk shit when you play the park? And are you guys the people that initiate the, the talking shit? Are you the first people to talk shit? Because I'm the type of player that if you're talking shit to me and I win the game after the match, I will completely talk shit to you. I will I will freaking I will rant on you, I will get on you, like it will not stop. And if you come on the next round, I will continue to talk shit because you lost that game. But you know, there's a lot of big talkers. I mean there's some people that really talk shit. You know, in multiplayer games, and I've I've even seen this on Call of Duty. You know, while playing Advanced Warfare for the past couple of days, people really talk shit. And and you know, it's even funny when some people even rage. It's just funny, but you know, what are your thoughts on talking shit? Because even in sports, like in the NBA, you hear some guys that don't say a word, and you hear some guys like that talk shit all the time. Like I I'm really interested. And like when people when players are mic'd up because when players are mic'd up it's just it's just so funny like especially in the NFL if you seen if you seen Richard Sherman mic'd up when this guy covers people it's just man it's just torturous man I mean this guy gets on he, he gets Richard Sherman gets on players man when he's defending them sometimes he might be like you're too weak like I was I remember he was versing this guy uh, I forgot he was on like on the 49ers I believe and this guy was trying to block Richard Sherman and he just could not block Richard Sherman and Richard Sherman just got in his face and was like you're just too weak man you gotta get stronger and I was like if that was me I would be highly upset like if someone were to tell me oh you're too weak yo you need to get stronger like I would be I would be upset man especially playing at the NFL level and it, especially when Richard Sherman you know back in the I think it was when they were facing the 49ers and they got before they got to the Super Bowl and he like he deflected that pass that was intended for I forgot who the receiver was for the 49ers but after that play he runs up to the receiver and tries to shake his head like what like that is just that is just some type of disrespect that is just messed up man I mean that's just it's not like he was even talking shit he was more like walking shit I mean that that really got the other player mad and of course he got a penalty on that play but still some of these things will just get me mad and this is why I don't even talk shit. And even before the game, I think that wide receiver has some words for Richard Sherman. So if you're going to ever talk in any sports or in any game, and you're going to talk before the game even starts, you better get ready if you lose the game. Because if you lose that game, I'm telling you, you, you you're never going to hear the end of it. I mean, that's just... Imagine... Think about this. Imagine if Peyton Manning, before the Super Bowl, you know, they're facing the Seahawks, he said he was going to light up the Seahawks defense. Imagine if Peyton Manning said... Oh, I'm gonna just crush the Seahawks defense. This defense is fucking trash. Fucking whack ass players. Richard Sherman's a fucking bum. He can't fucking guard anybody. He's been facing scrubs. He's been playing, you know, easy zone coverage. And imagine if Peyton Manning said that and Peyton Manning lost, not only lost the Super Bowl, but couldn't even score any, barely any touchdowns. Only had like one touchdown in the Super Bowl. I mean, he would get ridiculed for that for the rest of his career. I mean, come on. But anyways, like I said, I don't really talk shit on the park unless you start talking shit. That's when I start talking shit. Other than that, then to, my, to be honest, there's not really any reasons to talk shit. Unless I might be talking some shit to my teammates because my teammates are freaking bums in multiplayer sometimes. That's when I would start getting on my teammates, but that's a different story for another day. But so, the question is, do you guys talk shit? And also, I have another story because this guy on my channel, he subscribed to my channel. This this Hornets fan, you know, he was talking shit. I wouldn't say he was talking shit, but he was just saying that the Knicks were going to get crushed by the, the Hornets, the Charlotte Hornets. And I was like, I didn't even say anything because I was watching the game and I was like, this is a close game. 
So let me not say anything until the game finishes. And I was hoping the Knicks would win so I could actually talk shit to this guy and this guy wouldn't get the end of it. But the Knicks won and I went back on my channel, I commented and I talked shit. So that's how you gotta do it, man. I think you just gotta wait to apply and respond. And instead of acting, you should just kind of react in this situation, even though reacting in life is kind of not good. But, you know, in, in terms of talking shit, reacting is the way to go. So anyways, do you guys talk shit or do you guys wait until it's the right time to talk shit? But anyways, leave your comments down in the description or excuse me, in the comment section. But anyways, YouTube, I'm out. Peace.